Hey guys, how are you doing? Where are we? We are... Uh, we're preparing ourselves to the Srefat Chametz and we are preparing ourselves to Lagba Omer and uh, we just try to make some uh, some fun out of this journey Baruch Hashem Today I was, we were, my wife came with me and two of our children as well. We were in a, in a funeral of a, of a daughter of friends of ours and it was a very painful experience and it's still hurts a lot in the heart. It's impossible to to describe the thought even of a person that had to bury his child. It's something that no one is able to, to deal with and to understand. I, uh, I hugged the father that poor father when we were there and I told him that I want him to know that we and all of you guys the the Muna project friends you were in my mind while I said it and soon I'll tell you why I told him I want you to know that we are all with you in your sorrow and you're not alone and it's not a lie it's the truth you know all of Israel and all people that have a heart with no doubt they are they're all united in their sorrow they're united in their pain they're united in also in the happy hours when a normal and positive person with a heart is succeeding and he has a, a good time, he's happy, so he's willing to share those moments. He will post those moments on social media, he will let the poor people enjoy from his money if he's rich and he made a lot of money, he will give some of this amount to charity. People that has a heart, normal people, sane people, they care about each other. They're willing to do good and to help each other and to make each other happy. And also in times of sorrow, of pain, it's the same exact thing that we are experiencing the same thing we care and we feel for each other and I think that when we are all trying to think about what can help us to be redeemed and to bring a salvation for the wide world for everyone so the main thing that we should remember is that when our nation first joined together and were united under the holy mountain of Sinai so over there we were standing more than more than I think the number is between two to three million people something like that there were six hundred thousand men and probably the same number of women so it's already 1.2 million people and also there were many many children so and all that group is described while standing over there as one person with one heart and that was the term for Am Israel to be the vessel to receive the wisdom and to enjoy the 
the light of, of heaven, the Torah. So when we want to connect ourselves and to become a vessel again to hold and contain the light of the Creator, the main thing that we need to do, bless you, is to connect ourselves to each other. Because every person in this universe, in this world, he has something unique inside of him. His soul is beautiful and unique and different. And if you don't feel one with him and you're not connected to him in his point and you're not enjoying his qualities, so you lack of all those treasures that are installed inside of his spirit inside of his mind that he's been blessed with and you can ever enjoy his greatness the Creator's greatness that's been treasured in him only when really we are good friends with each other and we care about each other and we love each other and we support each other and we understand each other and we and we're happy we're happy to become one with our friends with our beloved ones when we want to enjoy each other and also to stand by their sides in times of sorrow and pain and also in horrible hours of grief and when terrifying judgments are coming down to the world except of really remembering remembering to care to allow ourselves to stand by our friends' sides. Parents should not experience this thing ever. Sisters and brothers never meant to suffer so badly. And we as individuals, when we see those horrible things that happened around us in the world, we must scream to heaven. We must tear the sky to pieces, to wake up the Creator from his deep sleep, to call him out from his hidden place, from behind the coverings, and to force him to come back to himself, to come back to us, to bring back and to deliver the real true kindness, kindness and, and mercy that for that the Creator created the world and only for that. So for that we need to put our power together and to increase the distribution in the world that everyone will know Him and to uplift the spirits of all of our siblings and all those ones that are close to us in mind and care about the same things, the good people, the honest people. I have a group of around 70, 80 people that we are on weekly basis having a question, questions and answers live session one hour, one hour and a half we're talking together and I see that all those amazing people they think the same they all have this simple intention of being good and being positive with each other, caring. We have a private WhatsApp group only for those guys and those are the people that are supporting the Muna project on a monthly basis. And, and in that group you can see the quality of, of the spirits of our nation. And like I told you many times, our nation is not only the Jewish nation. There is nothing that is called Jewish nation. Am Israel is the nation of Israel, is not Am Yehudi. Am Yehudi is, a, is an imagination. There is nothing like that. The Jewish nation is a Jewish tribe. It is one tribe, the tribe of Yehuda. That is one out of twelve tribes, holy tribes, the children of Jacob and his wives. And all the children of Jacob are twelve tribes together. They're all the same. 
and hundreds of thousands and maybe millions of people around the world today are the children of the holy nation of Israel without even knowing, without even recognizing the root of their soul and not even remembering the beauty of, of who they are. Today they think that they belong to different nations, to different uh, different sections in the world, to different religions. They don't know that they're supposed to be Jewish. They don't remember that they're supposed to follow the Bible and the rules of the Torah. They don't know it. But all the real qualities of their spirits are shining from within. And we must, if we are one of those, let's say you are not Jewish, but you have an enormous love to the Torah, you have an enormous love to the Israeli nation, to Hashem. It's a clear sign that you're one of those souls of Israel that are lost. Not lost that cannot be found. Lost that are being found right now. The Creator found you already. The Creator already brings you closer and closer to Him and wakes you up and calling you and you're able for a fact to recognize His Godly supervision on your life. And by that you can see your connection. So we must support the destiny of those people if we are those people. So we need to believe in ourselves and to allow ourselves to grow and to believe in our importance even if we're not Jewish. You're never meant to be Jewish. You're meant to be the son of Asher, the son of Zvulun. You are Zvuluni, you are Asheri, you are Ephraimi, you are Gadi, you are Dani from the tribe of Dan, from the tribe of Zulun, of Issachar, of Shimon, Levi, who knows who you are? What that is sure is that you're amazing and that you're beautiful and that you're one of us because we're all together, one nation. And not all of our nation are Jewish, only one tribe is Jewish. Twelve tribes are the tribes of Israel. So to allow ourselves to be who we are and to allow our friends, no matter who they are, to be who they are and to cheer them up and to believe in them and to explain to them that they must reveal the qualities of their spirits and to help them to believe in themselves and to share the glory and beauty of their souls and spirits. And by that, to reveal the godliness that is treasured inside of them. And with that, I'm going to finish my wonderful speech for tonight. And I'm going to bless you and I'm going to hang out more with my family. And later on, I'm going to keep on praying for you guys. I'm still holding a long list of people that I should pray for in my pocket. And... Uh, Pray for this poor family that lost their daughter. And pray for the rest of our people that are going through so many horrible pain and loss and illnesses and weaknesses with no end, decrees with no end. Tear the sky to pieces. Believe in the power of your prayer, in the importance of your spirits, that your words means a lot to the Creator. And we must not back off and not give up on the redemption, on the complete and holy and whole salvation of the wide world, that all the squirrels will have houses, that the porcupines will find shelters, that no deer will be hunted, that there will be no more death in the world, no more sicknesses, that no one will go lost, no child will go lost, no parents will bury their children, no children will bury their parents, that death will disappear from the world, that sorrow will disappear from the world. Only the evil tea will go in flames and will disappear into somewhere, into the unknown. But all the good, all the good people, all the honest people, all the kind people, us, people like us, will cross the desert and will reach safe land and holy promised land and will be happy. 
finally for eternity thank you be well and be strong and I'm praying for you guys and I care about you and my wife she cares about you and our children we care about you and we're praying for you and we read all the comments right we read the comments and praying for you for everyone and we pray for you and we pray with no end for the redemption to come and may the Creator bless us all as one to always be happy and strong and healthy and rich and uh, what else we need to see to be happy that's all that's all we need to be happy that's all and uh, to see bunny rabbits when we right in the grass we like to see bunny rabbits all right good night good news everyone <laughs>